What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Bulls Report here by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seaman, and welcome in. Coming up on today's show, we're actually just going to be discussing the possibility that the Bulls could be buyers at the upcoming NBA trade deadline. Obviously, we know all the reports about them selling Levine, DeRozan, Caruso. You know, we've always heard the Los Angeles Lakers connected to this basketball team as they could be trying to buy one of our players at the deadline. But the Bulls are 8-3 and three over their last 11. What if they could be buyers at the NBA trade deadline? I'll be breaking that all down and more. And I got three trade targets for the Bulls, two role players, and one superstar a big time superstar and he plays in cleveland so stay tuned for that but first guys if you guys want to make my day stay up to date with all um the latest bulls news and rumors hit that subscribe button um we're gonna post a video for any report we get any news article rumors article and obviously if any of these guys do get traded or if the bulls do go trade for somebody we'll have a video for you guys asap breaking it all down so hit that sub button support the show i would really appreciate it so before we dive into the three players that i do would want the Bulls to trade for and we'll break those guys down I do want to make this point I actually do believe that the Bulls could be buyers at the deadline but I think they could almost be both I think they could almost be buyers and sellers and in ideal scenario for me you know I think the Bulls have been playing obviously really well without Levine we all know that especially Kobe White Patrick Williams and Io DeSumo kind of that three young kind of players that could be a core that we could build around with still you know veterans like DeMar who is honestly played his ass off the last couple of nights. And then obviously Vooch has been playing really well too. But even if the Bulls are buyers at the deadline, you can still move Levine. And that's kind of the point I want to get. You can almost use Levine as a trade chip to go get more win now players. And you know, I've heard like a Siakam trade potentially for the Bulls, where the Bulls just give them Siakam or Bulls give them Levine. Raptors give us Siakam. Both superstars kind of want, you know, a change of scenery. Maybe that could be a win-win for both sides. So, you know, overall, the Bulls are playing such good basketball right now, getting a big time win against the Spurs last night that I think there is a 100% chance that Levine has already played his last game. Number one, I think he wants out. And then also number two, which is the biggest reason from the Bulls side, you got a dude like Kobe White playing his ass off. And, you know, it, it's so crazy. You know, Kobe White this offseason signed a three-year, $33 million uh, contract to the Bulls. And now looking at that, that's one of the more favorable deals in the NBA. And, you know, there's no doubt about it that the Bulls are a better team without Levine on this roster and without him in the rotation. I think the offense looks a whole lot more smooth. There's a whole lot more ball movement. And overall, the Bulls are getting teams in rotation rotation like crazy like Kobe White's so good at attacking um off a of pick and roll or just getting downhill getting to the lane and just kicking it out he's been taking a huge step in his game in that regard and even though DeMar DeRozan drives me crazy sometimes when he tries to go ISO in the fourth quarter and just kind of work out in that mid-range he still attracts double teams a lot and you know I know the Bulls they run that dribble handoff pick and roll offense probably more than anybody in the league well, it's been working because guys have been hitting shots. Guys have been making that extra pass. It's just been an overall more cohesive group on that end of the floor. So if you would bring Levine back and thinking like, I just, I, I just want to say this. I don't want the Bulls to fall into this kind of problem where it could be like, oh, we're playing so good now. Imagine how good we would play with Levine. No, the reason you're playing so good right now is because Levine is not there. So I still want to say that. Even though I do think the Bulls could be buyers at the deadline, you still move Zach Levine 100% because, you know, you got guys like Kobe White, Patrick Williams, and Io absolutely balling out. But let's dive into the three trade targets that I think the Bulls could consider. Um, kind of just tease Siakam a little bit. Um, I think I, th I think Siakam would be a good option for the Bulls. Again, I don't know if he would get them over the hump where, you know, the Bulls are contending in the East, but, you know, you really never know. Um, and I think that makes sense for both sides. But the three guys I came up with, I'm just going to start you guys off with the superstar, and then we'll get into the two role players that I think the two role players – um, honestly, I hate calling one of them a role player, but you know, I think they could get the Bulls extremely better on the margins. But the superstar, you guys probably saw him on the thumbnail. It's Donovan Mitchell. So if you guys don't know, um, Darius Garland and Evan Mobley are set to miss a significant amount of time. And you know, the Cavs season is looking like it could hit a very low point right now. And we've heard the reports that Donovan Mitchell doesn't expect to re-sign with Cleveland. So maybe Cleveland's thinking hey, we just need to move off this, get what we can right now. And, you know, because we're probably going to lose him in free agency. So might as well get a haul for him now. So from the bull side of things, let's just talk about the basketball fit. So I think you would probably need to include a decent package to get Donovan Mitchell. You're probably gonna have to maybe throw in Patrick Williams or maybe I, I don't think you would have to throw in Kobe White. And obviously, I don't think the Bulls like, listen, if it's trading Kobe White for Donovan Mitchell, I'm not doing it. 
Um, but to get Donovan Mitchell, I think you maybe, you know, maybe you could throw in a Levine so the Cavs kind of stay relevant. Maybe you throw Levine in a first and, you know, maybe you give him Io DeSumo or, you know, I would love to hang on to Patrick Williams, but maybe you have to throw him in there as well, which I would be probably really against that. And I don't know if the Cavs would want Patrick Williams. I already have similar archetype of players. Um, on that roster so but let's just talk about the basketball field let's just say they're able to move um, and trade for Donovan Mitchell how would it work for the Bulls on the court um, I think it would obviously be a very entertaining group I mean Donovan Mitchell you know I think he I think he's a very good basketball player but I do think he has his fault um, I think he just spams high pick and roll a little too much and it's easy for you know defenses over a course of a long game or course of a long playoff series to kind of hone in on that one move and we've seen it over the last two years Donovan Mitchell has struggled in the playoffs because he loves running high pick and roll well when you see high pick and roll over and over and over again it just gets easier to guard you know throughout the series and that's what we've kind of seen with him but there's no doubt he's an unreal offensive talent I mean he can get to the rim he's an extremely extremely athletic player he can hit the pull up three and I think the Bulls if they would go get him and let's just say you roll out a lineup of Kobe White Donovan Mitchell so you keep Patrick Williams you go DeMar Patrick Williams and Vooch that's a pretty freaking good lineup with guys like Javon Carter Io DeSumo Caruso you know coming off the bench and then at the end of games like you can throw Caruso in there to kind of you know help balance out the Bulls offense um, or help balance out the Bulls defensive inefficiencies that would obviously bring with Kobe White and uh, Donovan Mitchell on the floor. But, you know, I think trading for Donovan Mitchell, I think it would be a fun move, but I don't know if it gets the Bulls anywhere. And that's why I'm still kind of in the spot like, let's just have fun this year and let's enjoy the ride and let's enjoy the development of the young players. We don't overreact and go try to be like, oh, we're winning games now. We need to go all in and try to you know, compete with the Celtics or the Sixers. So I want to throw out that name, Donovan Mitchell. And now the two role players actually to both play with the Detroit Pistons. The first guy, Isaiah Stewart. Um, obviously the Bulls, you know, they have Vooch and Drummond, but I think they lack a physical, physical presence down there. And, you know, Drummond, Drummond bangs. We all know that. Drummond bangs on the boards. Like, he'll get, he'll get gritty over there. But Isaiah Stewart, I mean, he is the definition of a football player playing basketball. Um, this season, he's averaging 10 points, 7 rebounds, 45% from the field. He's actually shooting the three decently at 37%. So Stewart would kind of be that archetype where it's like that guy comes off the bench, for Vooch and uh, you know he'll just bang down low he'll make a couple of winning plays and I love Isaiah Stewart he's just a ball of energy coming off the bench and I think he would fit in well with kind of the culture that the Bulls and just the overall style of play they've been playing with um, as of lately but now let's talk about his teammate this is a guy that I think definitely fits a need for the Bulls right now like let's just say the roster staying the same we're trading Levine but everybody else is staying the same Boyan Bogdanovich, um, he is a professional scorer of the basketball. He's playing in Detroit this year, averaging 21 a game on 40% from downtown and 50% from the field. Um, he's just a tremendous basketball player. He's Like I just said, he's a professional scorer. I mean, he's a guy you can throw him the ball. He can come off pin downs. He can come off a pick, like whatever it may be. Like He can score in a flurry of different ways, and he's got a very versatile game. And, you know, I think in the NBA, like a lot of these guys, um, like especially if you're a role player, everybody can get hot. Everybody can have 20 points any given night. Like, it's just like, if you're hitting your jump shots, you know, if you hit three threes, get a couple fast break, fast break layups, bam, you're already at like 15. But Boyan, I think, is a score where it's like, no matter what the coverage is, no matter what team he's playing, like, he can get his because of his overall size, overall shooting ability. And I do think the Bulls kind of lack that a little bit. I don't think you could run him next to Vooch, but let's just say a guy like coming off the bench running with Io DeSumo, you know, Javon Carter and Caruso to have that elite score in the front court in the kind of that wing spot. Like I think Boyan could be that. And I think it could be an interesting chess piece where if it's like the Bulls do make the playoffs and they're that kind of seventh A seed and they're a gritty team because that's kind of been the way the Bulls have been playing. They're a gritty group with, you know, good offensive players, but they rely on their point of attack to defenders well if you just add another score to that and just kind of have a really solid team of just really good and smart basketball players I think the Bulls could you know maybe not saying they could go beat a Philly or a Boston or a Miami or a you know whoever may be um, in the first round but I think they could make it tough for them so those are three guys that I think if the Bulls are buyers that they may consider Donovan Mitchell, Zaya Stewart, uh, Boyan Bogdanovich and then uh, we obviously touched on Siakam which I do think Siakam will be a good fit as well but thank you guys so much for watching could the Bulls be buyers playing good basketball as of late man it's just been fun watching them over the past couple weeks so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel my name is Patrick Seatman thank you so much for watching see y'all next time